Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and today I am back on R Factor 2 for some more action in the IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship. So, once again in the Penske Acura today we're going to be recreating the 6 Hours of the Glen, which is one of the sort of premier events I guess you could say on the calendar. It takes place at the Watkins Glen International Raceway which is by far one of the sort of historic tracks in all of American motorsport and we're going to be doing a three hour race so exactly half of what it is in real life um, however I will also be utilizing the AI control feature where you can essentially have like an AI co-driver take over for you throughout the race as it is sort of a, a multi-driver race in real life and I'm the only one here uh, racing offline. Now as you can see I've managed to qualify fourth. I'm really really happy with this uh, Penske Acura and how I've set it up in practice. Uh, last time out at Detroit on the Belle Isle Street Circuit, what was sort of more of a sprint race, we did manage to get a win and the car was on fire and I think we've just about matched that pace here. However, having said that, I'm not really sure what the tire wear is going to be like over the full sort of stint. I didn't do a full stint in practice because I don't quite have the time to do that. Um, but yeah, the, it does seem like the tire wear, the tire, the tire wear is pretty uh, <laughs> pretty heavy around here. So you're going to have to monitor that. I mean, it is a really power heavy track. You really got to have good motor and good sort of straight line speed because you are spending so much of the lap flat out uh, but at the same time there are some long sort of corners that can degrade the tires anyway that's enough talk let's get onto the grid is a rolling start of course so just gonna quickly skip through this formation lap alrighty here we go just rounding the final couple of corners six hours of the Glen on our factor two in the IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship sister Acura is on pole Interesting, it's starting on the outside. I think they got the two lines the wrong way around. But anyway, here we go. Wait for that green flag in the air. Here we go. Six hours, or three hours of racing, racing, I should say. Make a move down the inside. Oh, that's a bit keen. Three wide in turn one. Oh, hello. A couple of them run wide. Avoid the mess. And up the hill for the first time. Acura, one, two. <laughs> Yeah, boy. I'm a bit of a Penske fan. I'm not gonna lie. Oh man, we got some, we got some straight line speed here, lads. Through the bootleg. Bus stop, I should say. Not bootleg. It's been a good start. This is one of the few tracks in. Uh, American motorsport that I didn't get to race at in real life, so my knowledge of this track isn't too good. Uh, try and battle the rear end up the hill out of the sweeping right hander. Now into one of the slower sections on the track. teammate here for the first couple of laps. Screwed up the last corner. Anyway, made up one spot. Now I'm going to try and do the first sort of 45 minutes and the last 45 minutes so we end up doing exactly half of the race. But then I'm not too sure how the fuel run is in terms of length, so we'll soon figure that one out. Uh, we got a run here on the teammate, better not <laughs> try and take him out. Oh, he's squeezing, he's squeezing. No, didn't have enough. Oh, he's overshot. Oh, no, this is not good. Lap one. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> well, lap two, I should say. A bit aggressive for three hours worth of racing. I think we'll be a lot better... Um, then the AI through the traffic, so I should probably just bide my time and wait till we hit the GTDs. Got all three, all four categories, I should say, competing in this race. And that, those are LMP2, which is a, basically a European version of the car we're driving. Uh, GTLM, which is basically just GTE. Ooh, a bit deep. And then GTDs, which is just basically GT3 spec cars, and we're gonna hit them first. These cars are ridiculously quicker than the GT3 category. But struggled here on lap two, lost the spot. We got some pace here, I just don't 
don't want to make any stupid moves and fall back. Now, if you want to check out any of the mods in today's video, they are in the description below. If you have R Factor 2 and would like to try it out for yourself, I do recommend it. These are so much fun, these prototypes to drive, especially the Acura. Uh, to be honest, I haven't actually driven the others, but you know, it's by far and away my favourite mod on R Factor 2. And then also getting the GTLM and GTD and LMP2 mods as well. Some of them are payware, but once you get them all together, it makes for some really fun offline racing. So we're sitting here buying our time right now. It's a tie wear. Tie wear's not too bad. For now. Can't really use too much of the curbs in these cars. I do not like it. But, oh, that's some uh, dreadful aero wash there. That, that exit up the hill is so crucial. I have a tendency to overcharge the entry as you <laughs> just see me do on that corner there. I feel like if we can get in front of these two though, it'd be better and clearer. Aero wash again. I'm struggling to get it turned in. Where's that? <laughs> Anti roll bar where I need it, or when I need it. I can't even English right now. It's so hot in here. UK summer. Ooh. Oh, they both went wide. Ow. Heck of a race for the lead. Aero wash again. The problem is this aero wash is going to be making our front tyre wear worse than what it should be. Still got seven or so laps left before we make that first stop. Although we are definitely quicker than the guys around us for now. Too hot. Oh, spinning Porsche. Watch out. Ah, Got to get back on the track. And the GTLM field is, and GTD field is just manic around here. That's right, I think the car's okay. We got a little bit of a front end issue, but we'll survive. Thankfully, our back to the Damage isn't as realistic as what it is in real life. Oh, it's okay, there goes a lot of DPIs. Man, GT LM field is just all over the spot. One Porsche and one Corvette. Anyway, we're in the lead. Woo! <laughs> I don't know what happened there? Squeeze up the inside. Oh, that's a bit rude. No, no. Alright, well, it's, <laughs> it's all got a little bit messy here on... I don't even know what lap we're on. Lap five. <laughs> lap five of three hours. I think that Acura is going to have to pick because that just smashed into that Corvette, but... Try and find a way through this traffic. Oh, this track is absolute mayhem. 37 cars in total. There's eight uh, DPIs, five LMP2s, and I think 
seven GT LMs, of which that Ferrari is one of them, and then the rest are all GTDs. Oh my gosh, what a mess! Oh, yeah, look. Stack up. Oh. Uh, why are you running so wide? Uh, uh. Don't die. Yeah, we're going to be a little bit off the pace here with this damage, but thankfully, as I said earlier, we are a lot better than the... <laughs> LM, uh, GT, uh, DPI, get it right, there's so many different categories, DPI, sort of AI, through traffic. Okay, we got five laps right now until we pit. Six second gap to the current second. Yeah, moving on. Uh, that was sketchy. Gotta be ultra careful with the <laughs> this R Factor 2 AI. They are messy to say the least. GTDs. So next up is the GTLM field, even though there was a couple that looked like they have fallen back. Oh, that's too wide. Come on, Joseph. Look at the track. Look at the stand <laughs> not the standings. Oh man, there's no grip whatsoever. Yeah, that left front's taking a beating. Making our way through the GTLM traffic. A pair of BMWs. I do like the BMW M6. I can't remember what it's actually called. My GTLM knowledge or GTE knowledge is very bad. Anyway, we've pulled out a 10 second gap through the traffic, so we are storming away right now. Right. Oh, that tyre wear is definitely probably the worst I've seen it all year. Right. Twenty minutes in. Make sure that's not done yet. Get whatever damage we have fixed. It's not too bad to be honest. Oh, wow! Overshot. No. That was a terrible stop on the marks, Joseph. <laughs> second lead so we managed to not be undercut and we got some good space and clean air to come out in so successful first in I would say a little bit of damage a little bit of mayhem with the uh, GTD and GTLM field but all right we'll persevere on in the lead Just no mistakes oh well I wasn't ready for that much more grip it's amazing what new tires is like in this thing GTEs entering the pit lane. <laughs> Man, that is such a dodgy pit entry, honestly. 
because you have to sort of enter in the yellow line that's on the inside there to let everyone know you're coming to the pit lane but because you're slowing down right on the apex it makes it really sketchy especially in a, <laughs> if you're in a car that's a lot quicker than the ones entering the pits as just shown but we have a 10 second lead so we've opened it up a bit uh, I think they're fine for second actually which is really helpful Oh, hello. Ah, shit. No. Ow. Okay. That, uh... Uh... No, please don't have damage. Oh. Oh, it feels alright. Oh, just about got away with that one. Oh, what happened there? Oh my god, man. The <laughs> GT field's just going nuts. They're struggling to keep it in a straight line. Thankfully, I think it clipped our bodywork and not the tyre because it's still steering straight, but definitely going to have some damage after that. Good. Hold on to it. No. Man, the AI really struggle around this track. It wasn't this bad in practice, but in the race, <laughs> having all sorts of issues. pitting so thankfully we are able to go I think maybe one or two laps further than the AI which over you know multiple runs will be very handy just a little bit less aggressive on the throttle I suppose <laughs> So second runners in the books. This will be the end of my sort of stint. Get out the car, hand over to Mac, which is uh, what I've nicknamed my AI co-driver. And then get pit entry right. Just about got that stopped. All right, first stint in the books. 40 minutes in, got the lead. It's been pretty successful the first sort of, yeah, 40 minutes. Now I'm going to go have a rest, come back, and finish off the race. Just got to get this 
thing stopped on the marks, slide it in. Alrighty, so just about to get back in the car. As you can see, uh, Mac is getting along just nicely in the lead. Uh, we do have a 58 second gap on second, but we are just about to make a pit stop, as you can see, uh, by the little spanner icon. So, ready to jump back in. We got 40 minutes to go. And yeah, pretty much just got to keep it clean and, and keep this thing in the lead. We should be good to the end. Alright, and back out we go. So we've come out two seconds behind the leader. Although I'm not quite sure again what the whole strategy situation is. Oh, nibbled the wall. That's not what you want to come out and do on your outlap. But thankfully it was just the side of the car and not one of the wheels. <laughs> Still steering straight, just about. Oh, that's a bit too much curb. Man, the track has gripped up a lot since we were last out. It looks like we got some work to do. Much rear bias. battle with our teammate. <laughs> Drop down to third. This hasn't been a good outlap at all. Alright. Yeah, we got a race on our hands now. Oh no! Damn it! Nibbled the back of him. <laughs> Just sent the front end around. Ah, oh, come on, Joseph, focus. Oh, uh, what am I doing? Why did I think that was going to work? Jesus Christ, man! I'm driving like absolute trash. We haven't had a pit for damage. I've hit that much since I've come out of the pits. Start of this second stint has been atrocious for myself. Ah, Joe. Come on. You've got to account for the error wash. Nine. That helps. Alright, let's go and chase this Mazda down. So as the race goes, I think all eight of the DPI cars are still in the race. We've got Mazda in first, then it's me and the other Acura, and a couple of Cadillacs, I think. Oh no. Oh, freaking hell! No, 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 no. Shoot. Oh, we... No, we're done, lads. Oh, we're done. What? No, we're probably done. Engine's busted. Oh, you absolute imbecile. What did I think I was going to achieve? But <laughs> I thought he was going to come back to the apex. Yeah, so at this point I was thinking the AI was going to go back towards the apex. And then he turned left and you can see where I would have been versus you know, where he where I thought he was going to be versus where he ended up being and then that's just sent us into the fence yeah see from this angle this is the car behind us uh, that makes more sense 
Boom. Race over. <laughs> Anyway, on that note, that is the end of this video. Yeah, that really sucked, to be honest. Uh, we were going a, sort of along nicely there. Dropped a couple of positions, but just got completely wiped out by the AI. Well, I completely wiped myself out by through the AI, if that makes sense. But anyway, uh, yeah, it was still fun. I mean, I do enjoy this mod. This is a pretty good rendition of Watkins Glen. I mean, some of the undulation and whatnot as you go down the straight isn't quite as what it looks like in real life. I haven't driven here in real life. So yeah, we'll just move on to the next one. Thanks guys for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed, well, the most part of this race. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.